Hello and welcome to our channel. Today, we're bringing you 10 animals that give birth in amazing ways. From animals who drop their babies from a distance to ones that grow them on their backs. Let's get started. Number 10. Giraffes Your jaw will drop at seeing how giraffes give birth. See, after a pregnancy, which lasts for a whopping 14 to 15 months, female giraffes go into labor, which can last anywhere from 30 to 60 minutes. When it's time, the baby's front hooves are the first thing to peek out of the mother, followed by the nose and head. This is where it gets unbelievable. Did we mention that all this time the giraffe is standing? When the baby giraffe fully emerges, it drops to the ground with a thud. This drop can be around 6 feet. Since baby giraffes weigh around 100 to 150 pounds, this fall results in the umbilical cord breaking. Number 9. Seahorses Seahorses are all-around amazing creatures. For one thing, it's the male that gives birth, and in the strangest way possible. It's actually a lot closer to how humans do it than other animals. Seahorses give birth the same way as leafy dragons and pipefish. See, after a courtship dance, females place their eggs into the male's brood pouch, where he fertilizes them. That's the last you hear from the mother. It's now up to the father to grow the babies. Over a pregnancy period, which is around 20 days, the male's abdomen grows. Finally, when it's time to give birth, they experience contractions. The male then almost violently expels the baby seahorses, sometimes over 1,000 at once. Number 8. Cichlids Cichlids take the trophy for being parents and co-parents of the year. The species, which belongs to the same fish family Cichlidae as angelfish and tilapia, has the most unusual reproduction process. This process is called mouth brooding. What happens is that the male puts the fertilized eggs inside his mouth and carries them until it's time for them to hatch. During this entire time, the male is not able to eat. Occasionally, the female can carry the fertilized eggs in her mouth. Other times, the two engage in what's known as biparental mouth brooding, which is when they trade off carrying the eggs. Before we get on with a creature whose birthing process involves splitting part of their own bodies, just hit the like button to fully support us. Number 7. Flatworms Most people may not think much of flatworms, but these tiny worms have one of the most unique birthing processes in the entire world. Generally speaking, all flatworms are hermaphroditic. That means that each flatworm possesses both male and female reproductive organs. Flatworms are known for being able to both reproduce sexually and asexually. Asexually, they have two processes, fragmentation and budding. This is where it gets mind-blowing. The process of fragmentation is also called cloning. A flatworm allows a part of its body to split off. That split-off part then regenerates into a new worm. Budding, on the other hand, has flatworms growing an extension. This extension, also known as a bud, grows into a new worm. After that, it separates itself from the first flatworm. Number 6. Platypus The platypus's claim to fame is for more than their duck bills and their starring role in Disney's Phineas and Ferb animated series. Technically speaking, as a mammal, females should give birth, but instead they stand out by producing their offspring via laying eggs. Native to Australia, the platypus's way of quote-unquote giving birth is by digging a burrow by a stream, filling it with leaves, and laying their eggs inside. The rest is up to the babies. Using a sharp, horny spike on their nose that's made of keratin, they break their way out of the eggs. Like mammals, the mothers produce milk for the young, which the babies can get from grooves on the female skin. Number 5. Snails Like flatworms, the majority of snail species are hermaphrodites. That means when it's time to reproduce, each snail does something out of the ordinary to enchant its mate. They shoot each other with 5 to 7 millimeter tall love darts. Each snail can both create eggs and sperm. Thanks to the love dart, after the courtship, the snails can now move on to growing their babies. They deposit their eggs in cool soil and bury them in different places inside holes varying from 1 to 1 and a half inches deep. If you thought that was strange, check out what the leopard slug does. In order to reproduce, they wrap themselves around each other. Their male reproductive organs then emerge from their heads. Number 4. Kiwis Imagine a human giving birth to a child that's already the size of a 4-year-old kid. 
That's the norm for what the kiwi bird goes through. When pregnant, their eggs take up around 25% of their bodies. In proportion to body size, this is the largest egg in the animal kingdom. When it's time to welcome their babies into the world, the eggs are so unbelievably large that the baby comes out fairly developed when it hatches. Number 3. Marsupials Marsupial is a category that includes kangaroos, wallabies, and opossums. If you picture a kangaroo and its baby, the image of a mother carrying her young, which is called a joey, around in her pouch probably comes to mind. Now, female marsupials are unlike any other animal. Their birthing process is also incredibly complex. The babies gestate for only about a month before being born. When that happens, they're still in an embryonic state. At the time, while their eyes and ears aren't fully mature, their mouth, nose, and front limbs are mature enough so that they're able to climb into the mother's pouch. This is where they continue growing until they emerge. The pouch protects them, keeps them warm, and is where they can get milk. Number 2. Vipers Vipers are a large family of venomous snakes. They can be found all over the world except in Australia, Antarctica, Hawaii, and Madagascar. They're known for their exceptionally fast strikes when attacking. However, what makes vipers even more exceptional than their unusual deadly venom is the fact that they're ovoviviparous. That means they don't just lay eggs or give birth like most animals. Instead, the eggs are fertilized and incubate inside the mother. This happens because the mother rarely contributes to providing food in utero. Then when the babies are fully developed, they hatch inside the mother as they are being born before setting out to the world as live snakes. As soon as they're born, they're extremely venomous. Number 1. Suriname Toads Suriname Toads, which are these flat amphibians native to South American rainforests, stand out because they carry the entire weight of their babies alone on their back, literally. It starts when the female lays her eggs, which is of course followed by the male fertilizing them. He then places all the eggs on the female's back. The female toad's skin then grows around the eggs, creating this bubble wrap-like surface that protects the eggs until they hatch. After the babies develop, they pop out and squirm out of the holes in the mother's back and jump into the water. That was all for today, guys. Let us know in the comments which of these animals you like learning about. Which one did you think was the most amazing? Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel so we can keep creating videos for you. Till the next one!